They say an eco-friendly house can't be built in 150 days for $150,000, and I say it can. I'm Alan Smith. Join me as I push the limits with time, budget, and creativity with the Garden Home Challenge, exclusively on eHow Home. Oh, hey, Blake, you're already here. Hey, Alan. Very good. Good to see you. Good to see you. So uh, what do you think here? I think, think we're a good candidate for a stair. I think it'll be great. Water. It'll look good on the pie steps as well. I was just thinking of something centered here with maybe six inches on either side, but what do you think? I think that would be great, and 28 inches will put us right at that. also think that we should, instead of what they call a waterfall, is to come under in a poster. Mm -hmm. Each step, so we'll staple underneath, it'll come around the, the tread and come down the riser. So it actually gets pinned under here like this, drawn tightly under here. Yes, and then pulled down in the same repeat on every tread All and riser. Down. Sure. Let's see what 26 or 28 inches looks like across here, because I think that's what you were suggesting. Yes. 28, yeah. All right. Yeah, that looks good. That's about, what, five to six inches off either side? Sure. Yeah. All right. You know, what I was looking at is a, a sisal, a really simple one. In fact, this one's called Basic. It's a Merida sisal. And, um, what do you think of that? I think that's great, a good selection, good color. It's also non-directional. So as you go up, if you have a directional carpet, you need to go up each tread and riser. You need one straight run because see. you see that. Where oh, you have the pie, yes, where you are coming up these pie landings, right? where it has to turn and go up the riser and turn again to come over sure. to the next riser, you don't see any direction. So if you've got a 45 degree angle to deal with, as we do, we have two here, then if you want it, if you want to make it simpler, you ought to go with something that's has a, has it's non-directional, yes. but have a pattern. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. All right. So how will you measure? Because you're not only measuring the top of the tread, but you're doing the rise as well. You'll come over and down and typically you're going to count two foot for each step. Oh, out of a 13 foot carpet, you're going to get four steps for every two feet. Okay. So you do the math on that. We've got two four by four risers, which will come out of another four foot piece. I see. So we'll have very little waste. Now, one of the thoughts that I had here was to put a binding on here. And in this catalog, this Merida catalog, they have binding choices. And I was thinking of doing a darker binding on either side. And we were thinking about putting it down with uh, those sort of uh, chrome or uh, pewter nail heads okay. all the way up and around. Is that possible? Sure, that would be good. Just depends on which color we go with on the binding, what would be a good contrast. Okay, okay. Do you suggest a particular width on, for instance, with sisal or? For doing a tread and riser, I would, typically it's about a two and a half inch binding. We'll try to shrink that down to maybe an inch, inch and a half. Sometimes right. they go even as wide as four, but you don't want to take the eye away from the actual piece of carpet going up or sisal. Sure. And putting down the, the nail heads isn't much of a problem, is no. it? I guess it's just being precise and getting them lined right, up. Right, get everything even. Yeah, I, I would think the big work here would be managing and navigating through these, as you say, pie steps or yes. the 45 degree angled ones. Yeah. Yeah. They have to figure out how to cut that 45. We'll be straight here and 45 to over and underneath the uh, tread there, which is sometimes difficult. Now these, if you're, if you're doing a stairwell like this, are they typically a custom order and you have to give plenty of time? Give me some help there. It's not something you're just going to pull off the shelf. No. On these orders, they take a week to 10 days to get in. We okay. schedule according from there. And you do a drawing, I guess, and submit it to the mill or the manufacturer? No, we just order the width that we need unless we order it from them bound. I see. So back to what you were saying, you, you measure it out, you get the amount you need, and then you do it in store. Absolutely. So Blake, these natural fibers like sisal and core and so forth, they really aren't any more difficult to, to put in as a stair runner than, say, the conventional carpets, are they? No, not at all, other than the binding. Okay. All right. Very good. Well, what I like about them is they're all natural. That's right. And Environmentally friendly. That's what we like. Thanks so that's much. Right. Thank Appreciate you. your help. Thanks, Alan. You bet. Hey, if you're enjoying these segments on the house, we're about to wrap the house up and start the interior design. So check in with us regularly. Make sure you subscribe to eHow Home.